Do you want to know some really fast ways to stop itchiness? Let me show you some of the things that work for me and my eczema. This first one is if you get eczema that gets really hot and red on certain parts of your body. For me, I used to get this a lot, especially when it's hot outside or at nighttime. And here's something that works really well. Scientists found that if you use something cold on the area where you're itchy, it numbs the fibers that transmit itchy signals to your brain. And as a result, the itchiness goes away and you don't feel like scratching. So putting something cold on your skin can stop the itchiness really fast. And you actually have a few options for this. One way is to directly put ice or an ice pack on your skin for like five to 10 minutes. And that helps to numb the area so that you don't feel itchy. You can also use things with cooling properties like aloe vera or my personal favorite, take any cream or lotion that you like that you have lying around, keep them in the fridge until they're cold and when you're really itchy, use that on your skin. This is really soothing and you also give your skin some moisture so that it feels really good afterwards. And speaking of feeling good, did you ever have trouble with itchiness keeping you up at night? Here's one way to stop that. Sometimes itchiness comes around when you're stressed out or feeling anxious. So relaxing your body before you go to bed can really help those itchy sensations go down so that you sleep better. If I'm having a flare up and I have a hard time sleeping before going to bed, I soak in a bath with something relaxing like Epsom salts. Epsom salts are made from magnesium and these help by balancing your body's natural pH levels. For people with eczema, it really helps your skin to feel relaxed afterwards. Another thing I like to use in a bath to calm my skin down is colloidal oatmeal. Real oatmeal is made from oat powder. It's naturally anti-inflammatory and anti-itch. And when you put it on your skin, a lot of that itchiness and redness will go down. For me, if I'm feeling stressed out, I'll do a 10 to 15 minute bath like this to relax my skin. And afterwards, I'll follow up with something to cool my skin down like a cold moisturizer. This combo really helps my skin feel amazing and my nights are so much better. If you are in a similar situation, definitely try this out. It could work wonders for you too. Okay, we talked about how to sleep better. What about in the daytime? Did you ever get those random itchy flare-ups like you're going about your day and all of a sudden you start feeling really itchy? I used to think that this kind of thing was random, but when I looked into it, I saw that this usually happens when your skin accidentally comes into contact with something that it doesn't like. And when that happens, your body reacts by producing a chemical called histamine. If you don't know what histamine is, histamine is a chemical that is naturally found in our bodies. And in very small amounts, it's fine. But when your body is triggered by something, your body produces more and more histamine as a warning sign. Now this is great for letting us know what's happening. However, too much histamine can make you feel like scratching. If this ever happened to you, don't worry, there is a way out. One thing that can help you at that moment is to take something to block the histamine, like an antihistamine. Antihistamines help to break down too much histamine production. That means that your histamine levels go back to normal and you don't feel like scratching or itching your skin. Antihistamines, I've used topical ones like topical Benadryl. This has an ingredient in it that helps to block the histamine directly on your skin. This works really well for the little areas that might get itchy. Another way you can block histamine is to stop the reaction from inside. Studies show that some foods have natural antihistamines that work really well for stopping the itch. These can be found in foods like some fruits and veggies, so having more foods like this can help. However, if you're struggling on that day and you want something right away, you can also look into getting natural antihistamines from plants. The two I recommend are stinging nettle and quercetin. These are both extracts from plants and naturally anti-inflammatory to help stop the histamine so that your skin feels better right away. And speaking of clear skin, here's another thing you should know about. 
All these things we talked about, they can help to stop the itchiness a little bit so that your skin feels better, but in the long run, you still need to find a way to stop the eczema from coming back. I run an online skin course for people with eczema, and a lot of people find that their itchiness usually happens after something they've been using or doing, or something they've been eating. And for the people who don't figure that out, they tend to get stuck in the itch scratch cycle. And that's really frustrating because if you really want to get clear skin, you need to find the root cause. Then the itchiness stops, you sleep better at night, and you can finally feel comfortable in your own skin. If you don't know where to start, I put together a free video series. It's called the Clear Skin Plan. If you want to know how to get clear skin in real life, come join the plan. There's a link below. Go click it while you can. A lot of people have been waiting to join and get results with their skin. If you're still here watching, a big thank you for coming to this video and for giving me your time. If this video helped you in any way, please share it or leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. I'm Christina and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!